Hey guys, my name is Hannah, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be talking to you about my TV show and movie ships. <laughs> I talk enough about my book ships, but I watch so much Netflix, it's kind of crazy. So I have built up my fair share of TV and movie ships that I feel like I need to share with you. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. One thing, let me just say quickly, if you ship any of these people in these shows or movies with other people, then like, sure, go ahead, but you're wrong. I'm joking but like my heart will never let me agree with you. <laughs> it sounds so bad. It's okay if you ship other people to me, but don't attack me for shipping the people who I ship. Also, one more thing. <laughs> like half of these on here are from TV shows that I haven't even finished watching, but that is because I either found out that they weren't gonna happen in the TV show or they already happened and then I got bored or something like that. So um, yeah. Oops. <laughs> Number one, Claroline. Okay, <laughs> if you didn't ship Claroline, I, I can't believe you for a second. I'm sorry, I'm so ill right now. <laughs> I never finished The Vampire Diaries, but Claroline was like one of the main things that kept me going, and then when I found out, it didn't happen all. <laughs> I stopped The Vampire Diaries during season five because it was just kind of really boring. Sorry if you like season five, but not for me. <laughs> I didn't think there was any reason to really keep going if Caroline wasn't going to happen. If I knew that Caroline would happen in the end, then I would have gladly kept watching, but no. Next, Stydia from another TV show I didn't finish. I got to season three of Teen Wolf and Stydia was literally my life. And then found out that it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> well, like not properly anyway, like they weren't going <sighs> to... Still not over it. <laughs> Let's be honest, the only reason why I really watched that show was because Dylan O'Brien was in it. <laughs> Next up, Chair. Chuck and Blair from Gossip Girl. Oh my god. Yes, please. We can all agree, just right now, that Dare was the weirdest thing to happen on that show. <laughs> I was so close to skipping a huge chunk of the series, like just to get past all the awkward Dare stuff, but I pushed through and damn, that end was worth it. <laughs> Caleb, Hannah and Caleb from Pretty Little Liars. I was really mad when Caleb and Spencer were together. I was like, what the hell is happening? Ah! And I was just waiting for Caleb to happen again. And then it did. And hallelujah for that, because I mean, if it didn't, I would have been mad. Malik. <laughs> yep. I never finished the Shadowhunters TV show because it's just so bad. It's awful. It's really awful. But because I ship Malik so much in the books and Malik in the series was one of the only things keeping me going, I thought I'd add it. Delena, Damon and Elena from The Vampire Diaries, another Vampire Diaries ship. And don't even try me with Stefan and Elena, okay? Don't even try me. I'll fight you. Yet again, didn't finish that show because I found out the end about, I, I just, Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy. I still haven't read the book, but in the movie and TV show, oh my god, they're my life. <laughs> Baby and Johnny from Dirty Dancing, that just needs no explanation. Dirty Dancing is such a great movie. My sister and I have watched it so many times together. It's just so good. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Best ship, best movie, great dancing, great soundtrack. Monica and Chandler and Ross and Rachel from Friends. If you didn't get that, I feel bad for you. Okay, next one. Rayla. Okay, I can already see people coming at me with pitchforks, but please just let me explain. <laughs> As time goes on, I've started to accept Raylo not happening. I think that it's a bit unrealistic as far as expectations for the endgame couples in Star Wars go, but I mean, all I want, all I'm asking for is a bit more Raylo time before she like kills him or something. That's all I want. William and Anna from Notting Hill, because that movie is my life. I love that movie, Notting Hill. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's like a rom-com, but it's great. Rom-coms are the best, okay? The Prime Minister and Natalie from Love Actually. It's another Hugh Grant movie. Can you tell that I like watching rom-coms with Hugh Grant? <laughs> Hugh Grant plays the Prime Minister and Natalie is like, I forgot what she is. She like works for him, but then they, my heart. <laughs> and last but not least, another show I didn't finish. And please don't kill me for not having finished this. I think that I will have to eventually. I can't believe that I didn't finish it. But that's Gilmore Girls. I shipped Luke and Lorelai so hard. And I can't believe I didn't finish that show. Why didn't I finish the show? I really enjoyed it. Come at me. I deserve it. <laughs> and yeah, I guess that is it. Sorry, you can really tell that I'm ill today. Thank you so much for watching. All of my social media and my other channel will be linked down below. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye!